Electronics. Purpose of this video is to gather information to repair this Nixie clock that I purchased for my son for Christmas. It just got here a few days ago and it played for approximately 15 minutes. And then I noticed that this Nixie tube started developing issues. You can see all the elements are on and they're actually trying to increment as the seconds increment. The first three digits appear normal. So I contacted the builder who happens to be a fellow in Russia. He actually constructed this thing from the ground up and he wants me to give him a review and some close-ups so maybe we can determine what's causing this malfunction. So I'm going to get up on this thing, I'll show you guys how it's constructed and we're going to watch the digital readouts so that my friend Alex in Russia can evaluate it. I put a little backdrop there so we can get a better view of the operation of the clock. Go to set mode. You can see things increment. Now there is a little ticking noise. Not sure what that is. But I had this thing set. It was keeping good time. Display looked great. And then all the elements on this tube went wild. And when this happened, of course, it lowered the high voltage because it's having to drive this tube harder. So these guys are a little dimmer over here than what they started out as. I also noticed a strange delay on seconds. Approximately every 21 to 22 seconds watch you'll see a delay. Right there at the 11. I should come back around and do it again. So that is the actions of the Nixie tubes themselves. And on the circuit board, I found one questionable item that I'll show here on the video. And maybe that, maybe that will uh, assist with the troubleshooting. I sure would like to get this going for my son. So for reference, these are the output lines going up to the Nixie tubes. So I'm just going to measure the voltage on each one of these pins, preferably without shorting anything out. I'll just walk my way down. See that one's high. I'm not exactly sure what these voltages should be. I do not have any documentation. Maybe I can get uh, Alex to share that information with me. Okay. So you see we only had one voltage that was odd. Let's see, where's he at? There. That one's high. And I went over across these output transistors and I also found a voltage that was strange as compared to all the others. Let me zoom in on that. I've got a magnifying glass set up because I need to probe right on these output transistors. So I'm going to sweep this bottom row from the right to the left and watch our voltages. 
One. Another. See that one? It's extremely low. As we continue across, all the others are at the 118. If I come down here to the base resistors that are feeding this, here's our inputs. So they all appear normal. But this guy right here, voltages are whacked out on that transistor. A junction right here, a little voltage divider, and that's that 0.8 volts coming from the PIC chip, which in this case is a ATM EG AG16PU. That is what's driving these transistors and driving the output of the Nixies. Once again, I do not have the information to troubleshoot it. I'm hoping it's not a software issue, but if that's the case. These chips are only about three or four dollars. I would just need the program to fix it. So here's a real close-up on the Nixie tube action. If you look inside of that one, you can see it seems to be following along with the seconds. Now how the seconds could be getting into the minute output tube is beyond me. Something obviously has changed and it changed within 15 minutes. But this thing's too beautiful to give up on, guys. I need some help. Alright, Alex, that's the information that I can provide to you at this time. If you would please either respond to me through YouTube or look up my contact information and send me an email direct. It's a much easier way to communicate and hopefully we can share some knowledge and get this resolved and then everybody on YouTube We'll be able to see it repaired and working again. Appreciate your help.